Um, when I first met Anthony, I, I like saw him and as an individual where I was like, you know, I think Anthony is a, for like, as a respect, like the most respectful way that I can say this, an attractive man. I respect their relationship. I respect their marriage. So Oof. you know, people taking advantage of me before, you know, people have hurt me, you know, I've been used and you know that my trust levels are like this, this thing. All I gotta do is put my mind, my mind. What's good, Duffy Gang? It's your boy Tyler the Duff, and I'm back with another video. And today, you guys are probably like, oh my god, what is happening? And I'm here to help you guys know what the hell is happening today. So, Andy is going to be answering some questions and explaining himself right. so that you guys can understand. You said you don't remember, but I'm gonna help you remember. So I'm gonna first start off by saying stuff. And for all y'all out there, y'all do know, like, y'all know I don't like putting business on the internet. Like, I think it's all just fucking crazy, but he insisted to do a video. It'd be weird if he just popped up in a video without addressing things. So this is why we are addressing things today because he wants to do a video so bad. Yeah, So I really here. wanted to get in front of the camera and like, like kind of clear up certain things. If y'all don't know basically what happened because there is no nice way of saying it, Andy left me out in the fucking cold. He ditched me and he knows that he's wrong for it. But the thing is, is that, let me say what I need to say. So first of all, you left me out in the cold because you didn't get And then after I got mad, you still lied and told other people that you were too much of a good friend and you told every, three different people, three different stories that they even said didn't even match up and said that I was being mean for no reason because you left me out in the cold. It was at two o'clock in the morning and I was with my friend who didn't know Andy and said, I don't trust people that I don't know. And I said, oh no, Andy will never do anything bad. And you left me out in the fucking cold. Go ahead and explain myself from the beginning. Uh, I went out of my way to be out there in like Rock Rose area, the domain. And I saw Ty was, you know, hanging out with his friend that he was, uh, what's his name? His name's Vaughn. Bond. Mm -hmm. He was hanging out with Bond. 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 Yeah. <laughs> he was hanging out with Bond, and I went out of my way to invite him. Come on. They, okay, you don't have to tell the whole fucking story time, bitch. You just need to be like. Okay, let me get to the point. We go to <laughs> we go to this bar. I like see these girls, and I remember Tyler bringing this up, but like it kind of like rubbing off the wrong way on me because I didn't want it to come off that way. But it is what it is. So basically, I had met this girl, and I thought I was gonna f her. I thought I was gonna leave. I thought I was gonna get some. See, little did I know, <clears throat> I ain't getting no And then left. I left. Uh, okay, keep in mind, my car is 30 minutes away. 30, 35 minutes away. It's in a whole nother city. I know y'all be like, well, why didn't you just drive? I was at another place with my friend and he begged me to come. And I said, I have my friend, he didn't come too. Yes, and, he, and I was just like, the only way I can get back to my car is if you drove. He said, yes, come and you can drive my car. Came to the point where he didn't get no and he got pissed and then left me. I got denied. I got embarrassed in front of multiple people. I mean, Ty was already over there with, with Bond. So then I went over there up to them. You know, Bond had never met me. And you know, for Ty to say that he shouldn't have to worry about me, me be the friend to say, hey, yo, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm like, I'm not taking you home. I was like, I know the f not. And let's just say Bond's like, Oh, don't worry, I'll get us a ride. I don't know why it didn't cross my mind. No, let me, and period, no. So, what happened was is that Andy's our designated driver. You're a designated driver. I was. Andy comes up and says, I'm not taking y'all home. He looked at him right. like, can you repeat yourself one more time? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to take y'all home. And he said, you know what? Let me look up, let me look up Uber rides. Stop, hush. He said, you know what? Let me look up Uber rides, you good. Like, basically saying, let me look up Uber rides. He left, and then he's literally just looking, he's just like, wait, is your friend serious? Like, do we really have to get an Uber? And I'm just like, no, he's not gonna leave us here. Cause I'm literally still looking at Andy like, you need to take us home. Why would you do that? And then on top of that, you didn't even pay for the Uber after you invited us. And we had a ride, it was his roommates. We were about to go back to his house if Andy didn't even tell us that we that he wanted us to go out mm -hmm. to the fucking, uh, to the bar. So I, I won. Whenever he said he was gonna go look at the rides, I immediately left. I didn't even bother, it didn't cross my mind, like, you know, stay there or call them a ride. My instinct was go home because I was mad and salty because I- It doesn't matter, go. it doesn't matter. You do that every time you go to the bar. You hit on some girls, you don't get no and then we still go home together. 
happily ever after. This is true, y'all. I don't know why I don't seem to like. I don't know what the fuck is going through your head. I don't that know day. what's going but through. That's not even that that's that, that's not even the biggest part. The biggest part is just that you know people taking advantage of me before. You know people have hurt me. You know I've been used. And you know that my trust levels are like this this thing. I'm a trustworthy person as a friend and as a human being. I'm trustworthy and I like to be faithful. Whenever that is stripped away from me, whenever I'm not getting that same energy, it really hurts. So the fact of the matter is that I would never, as much as you get on my damn nerves, I wouldn't leave you out in the motherfucking cold when your car is 30 minutes away talking about I'm just mad. What the? Oh, you're not even yeah. mad at me. That but then called him three times, but he picked up on Anthony's call. Yeah, uh, Talent called me, and that's another thing. Like, like I could have... Like he says, we, we've gone out many times and I've gone out of my way to try to hit on a girl and it doesn't unfold the way that I wanted to and we still leave together. I don't know what the hell was going down through my head. So that can night. you say that you're wrong? Because you uh, never did say yeah. it. Yeah, oh, I'm getting to that. I'm getting to that. I'm getting to that. I don't know what exactly was going through my head and my thought process throughout that whole night, but I wanted to get on, you know, in front of everyone and in front of Ty and Russ for everyone to know that. You know, I'm sorry, but I feel like it's only right and fair for me to like get in front of everyone and, you know, kind of give my apology so that way people can see that, you know, I'm aware of my actions and how I handled that situation. By all means, was it ever handled the right way? No, not at all. Ty has never done something towards me in the matter that would lead me to cause to do something like that. I would never want to jeopardize, you know, him. And because wait, what if you so damn? You just you put me. You're stupid. But you you drag me around uh around for the rides and stuff, and just make me look crazy by associating with your stupid ass. I'm a weird. Just like there's also some other things that you need to address too. So the reason why I brought up Anthony was because you know I said this on my live stream because Andy watched my live stream and I stuff did. like that. I watched the guy. So there's a couple of questions because they had a lot of people that were pointing out to me that you probably like Anthony. Oh yeah. Um so um when I first met Anthony I I like saw him and as an individual where I was like you know I think Anthony is a for, for like as a respect like the most respectful way that I can say this an attractive man in the sense that he isn't ugly. So that's my first impression of Anthony. But what people misinterpret is that every time I'm hanging out with them or they meet me and they see that I'm around them, they their first instinct is like, oh, Andy has a crush on Anthony. Andy likes Anthony. Andy wants to get in between Anthony and Ty or Tylen and Anthony. I'm like, first of all, I respect their relationship. I respect their marriage. So Oof. the pause. <laughs> because I got I got something to say that you need to answer that too before you get into it because you he's he's savvy with some words y'all so if you say. respected relationships so much like I also said in live stream why do you do things in a sense of a matter of hitting on let me give you an example oh, you look good oh your ass is fat oh can I touch can I touch is it bad that I'm looking? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, all those things jeopardize friendships. It's not just that, oh, Andy just left me out in the cold. Oh, no, so now we're not uh, friends. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of different things, Andy, yeah. that I have tolerated. But the thing is, it's just that you went as to far, like, as me just letting things bypass Which to the point where you just leave me outside. Like, but you also saying that you respect relationships, but you wouldn't be doing that if you respect the relationship. Right. So, so, explain. So, there's been multiple times where we've been out and... Regardless of me being sober or intoxicated, none of that matters. What matters is that what came out of my mouth and what I said to Ty, which I should have never said from the beginning because, you know, like he says, you know, things that I say aren't okay as far as like me saying things about him, like his features and the way he looks. Like maybe complimenting a friend saying that I think that he genuinely like, like, oh, wow, you like your, your outfit looks great today. Or, like you look, you look on point today. Like maybe that's that's fine in the sense of me leaving it at that, but not not slapping my whole. Ass. So, damn, that was the once I did do that. I oh twice. God. I was out. But we do you out, not? But you know, you're just, you're stumbling. It's okay. Let me help you. Yeah. So, do you see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. On top of that, like you don't have to get too deep into it. We already know. We already know. But on top of that, you keep on like, oh, on, on top of that. Um, why is it that you have to introduce me as a YouTube friend? Why can't I just be your friend? 
And that, that's another thing, y'all. It's like most of the times whenever I would go out, like I would hate to say that this is true and not true, but it really is. I would introduce Thailand to people. I would say, hey, this is my YouTube friend. I wouldn't even say this is Thailand. I would always do or that. Or just my friend. I mean, like you went as so far as so far as the girl that you were trying to in the club talking about, hey, would you like to show yourself to her? Explain what you do? And I'm like, Hi, my name is Tyler. Nice to meet you. She's like, hey, my name is whatever her name was. And then you're just like, are you going to tell her what you do? And I'm over here like, boy, no, I don't have to. Like, and I realize that now. No. Because like, I think about it in the sense of, I don't really need to be putting his business out there. I don't need to be saying certain things. I don't need to be doing certain gestures, which that's what I'm getting at. Like the things that I've said and things that I've done, justifies who I am and people can look exactly at me. So, so yeah but yeah me it's not just for the internet it's for me as in, in the person because I've seen you act the same way oh let me go apologize but then you do the same exact thing over and over again so that's what I'm kind of at in a leeway of like can you be trusted do I completely take all that back and like take that as a self-reflecting kind of thing and I see that and I learn from it and I can know that if I'm gonna still hang out with him, that I gotta know how to act and how to. How can you be, be trusted? I gotta, I gotta reassure myself that I'm gonna be acted the way that I need to be acted, so that's appropriate. Which is, you know, by not saying and doing gestures, or for people to think that I want to get in between your relationship. Or just like, how would you feel with. if if you somebody you were talking to in in a long term relationship? I just came over and said, "Bow, look at that. Ass. You look good in a sexual way." <laughs> That's where I'm like, dude, I, I can't, like, that's where I'm like really like at ease on what to say to that because it's like, I am baffled and ashamed of those consequences and actions that I did. The consequences between me not going to say sorry first off the night after the day of the situation, but also the night of me doing that, that stuff to him. Like, I don't, I should have never done that. I want, I want to like leave all that away because I know that it isn't important. Oh, it is important because I'm, I'm learning from, from a lot of the stupid stuff that I did and said, and I'm aware of if I want to keep a relation, a good relationship with a friend that I just really got to get it together. So if I want to keep a good relationship with a friend, that's someone that is someone that I've been knowing for quite some time now, and I've been hanging out with in multiple different environments, whether it's here at his house, out and about, like, I need to show Ty that I can be that same person that he and I used to hang out with. I gotta show him that I'm not gonna leave him out in the cold. I gotta show him that I'm not gonna Oof. say or do things. Boy. Say or do things in a way that it can really make me look bad. Cause you know, I'm easy to just snip snip. Snip, snip, snip. But the thing is, is like for me, I give I give a lot of people chances. Thing is, is with me, I know that humans are imperfect. You know what I'm saying? I must definitely take note of everything. But it's not up to me to be your mom and be like, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. You know what's good or wrong. Especially with me, my facial expressions and my energy most definitely mm. brings enough to the table. You know whenever you're doing I, something I, wrong. I, I grind, so, I got that but the thing is, is that whenever you finally, whenever you get to that breaking point, whenever you know, it's goodbye. Yeah, I, I, I do can't trust things. you for stories that you tell about other people. If somebody did you wrong, it's not going to be like, a, oh, Andy, I'm going to take your word for it. Like, no, because you lied on me. So how can I trust you? I feel like... Are you done growling? Getting in front of the camera and just saying, look, I understand that I did a lot of things. I know I left them out. I know that people think that I'm trying to get in between his relationship with him and his fiance. But what I'm trying to do now between me and myself and also the friendship relationship that I have with him is I'm really trying to work on myself and how I act and how I use my words wisely. Because I don't want people to look at me as a person that always puts different things together to put out this story, put this version in front of everyone so people can think that that's who I am. Tylen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I left you out in the cold. Sorry I, sorry I called you good looking. Sorry. For... It's different from telling your friend good looking than whenever you'd be like, damn. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Are you a good friend? 
like there's there's differences yeah. and, and that's I, that's another thing that i really am trying to work on like i'm really trying to think before i talk and and not put all these words together to come off as one version or person i'm trying to just the I actually real, think the real person you need to be talking to is Anthony. I have patience. It'll be right for me to talk to him because y'all all think that I'm legitimately trying to get him. And I don't, I don't, feel I like don't see that whatsoever. I, yeah, I don't, see I don't that. have I don't, to worry about I that. I don't know why. But the thing is, is just that you can also think something because of the way that you've been acting. But it's whatever. I love y'all. Thank y'all so, so much for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> um, if y'all like this video, give it a big thumbs up and everything. And hit that subscribe button if you're new. And I'll see y'all in the next video. My life is a fucking hectic ass mess. Deuces. Goodbye.